This is my sketch that I'm painting for the Luna Moths um, gouache painting here. I apologize for my camera kept sliding down here. So um, after a little while of adjusting it, it finally does stay. So I promise. <laughs> All right, so this I did look up where Luna moths usually hang out, and apparently they very much enjoy birch trees. So I chose a birch tree for them to be on in this painting. I do love birch trees; they have that cool peely effect that uh, I used to get in trouble when I was a kid. We had a birch tree. I used to peel the bark off of it because that satisfying peeling feeling. Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, the Luna Moths in this painting, I tried to do a boy and a girl. They are slightly different colors, but they're mostly categorized, I believe, by the size of their antenna. Um, the boys, I believe it is, have, have the bigger antenna. Um, and I have seen a million pictures of these moths, and I never realized that the um, border color there on the top was a magenta like that until I looked at some really detailed close-up photos and I was very surprised to see that burst of color so I made sure to incorporate that in the painting um, but I did knock it back a little bit here you'll see shortly with some black just to make it a little bit less intense um, I did this method where I showed the sections on the wings so that um, you could see some layering effect. I'm not sure how well that worked out. You, you, it does make it look like more realistic wings though. Um, I did notice that these wings are slightly translucent so when you see the pictures of these moths you can see through the top wing section a little bit. You can see the, the wing underneath. Which is why I went with just a slightly different green on that overlap area. Um, they are very furry, fuzzy creatures too. So I tried to get that effect with some white. I know that's not the traditional way that you would use gouache or watercolor where you add white on top. I don't do any of my painting in any kind of traditional way at all. Um, I highly encourage anyone who wants to try gouache paints to go ahead and try them. Um, but I don't really think in art there are any rules for how you use them. I mean, there's techniques you can learn to make it a little bit easier for you to get an effect that you're looking for, but um, if you get what you want out of the paint, but you used it in a way they told you never to use, I don't think that matters. I really don't. Um, Take it from someone who fared, failed a watercolor class in, in art school. Um, I, I love doing what I do, but I do not do what I'm supposed to do. Um, you can notice I did go with a slightly different green for this other moth. Like I said, uh, the girl moth over there. Um, she is a slightly different color than the boy. Um... This is pretty common in nature with moths, which I never realized either until I started researching for this painting. I I know it's silly sometimes to research for a painting because it's just a still image, but I also don't want to depict something in nature so beautiful and in and do that incorrectly. So I tried to represent from my Luna moths here. Um, I did a blue background first, and then I decided. But he didn't like it, so I went over it with some army green, which made this cool, like, blotchy background that kind of looks like out-of-focus leaves in the background. That's even more awesome than I could have planned for, so I went with it. It's also a different green than the moths are, so I think it enhances that, like, tealy tone uh, to especially the boy moth there, so. Um... I use my heat gun. You can see that quite a bit here too. I'm not very patient. <laughs> I know gouache or watercolor is not a great choice if you're not a patient person. But again, I do it my own way. Um, and then I go in here with some pen to try to 
um, put some borders on everything. I like to go back in with ink. It really enhances mm -hmm. the overall look, I think, um, when you can see the edges of everything really clearly like that. Um, it's more graphic quality. I'm quite partial to comic books, so it kind of has that look to it. Um, this print and design is available on my Tee Public. Visit heatherdorshcreations.com for links to all the products. Thanks.